if you have worked in Photoshop, you might know about the filters. Filters are the effect like color balance, sharpening, blur, same filters we do have inside Substance Painter. So in lesson 19, we will see how to use these filters inside Substance Painter. Why did this coffee taste so good? Oh, I used the filter of Substance Painter. Oh, wow! Now in lesson 19, we will see how we can work on the filters directly from the shelf. Okay, so we have uh, been using filters, but we are we were using filters from here, okay, and from maybe from the other parts, but now we will directly use filter from the shelf. So let's go to filter here and make sure uh, we'll uh, let's go on the front casing, okay. So make sure you're on the first layer so that if you drag and drop, it will be on the first layer. So we have a lot of different kind of filters. The one which I really like over here is the color correct, okay, or the color balance. So let's see first the color balance, then we will see how the color correct works. See, if I will take the color balance and drag on the top of the layer stacks, so you can see that there is a new sort of blending mode which is known as pass through. Pass through means if I will change the color balance from here, okay, if I click here, okay, I will have all the attributes here or parameters. So it will affect all the layers below. That's a cool thing about the color balance. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, about these some sort of filters that uses pass through. Okay, so if I will go to shadows, okay, if I can make the shadow uh, to more red, you can see that red is popping up okay green lesser blue lesser or little bit so you can see it's becoming purplish if i will go to mid tones i can do some more changes here and see it is becoming uh, more and more reddish okay so that's how you can uh work on like with these kind of uh like uh like filters directly from here now if i want to use color correct i can drag and drop here okay uh on the top or on the bottom up to you now again this is pass through that means it will be affecting all the layers below now i can go here i can go contrast okay change the contrast you can see it is changing contrast of everything here here okay and saturation so many things you can do that okay so luminosity luminosity is affecting this okay then we have color match sort of thing so we can go here in the collage match you can choose the source color okay so whatever source you have will be here maybe i have stickers here so i will type here stickers okay so i like mtv the source color so i will choose here it will try to match with mtv colors okay now target color i can take this so you can see that it is changing oops what is happening here okay uh, let me undo that now I will click here, take this and click over here. Okay. Uh, yeah. And you can see that it is uh, changing uh, the, the colors over there. Okay. And image input, you can, uh, you can choose uh, Im image input instead of uh, the target color. Okay. And you can change the hues. You can use the chroma okay luma and whatever uh, you want to do also we have one thing here which is like a uh finishes okay like we have different kind of finishes here we have uh matte finish glossy finish we have this one which is basically let me check here okay uh well, it's not opening up okay yeah which is matte finish rough this is matte finish something uh, uh like me check what it is it is matte finish hammered okay so let's see that so if i'll drag this one on the top okay so you can see that it had applied it all over this um, this stacks okay so this is how uh you can drag directly over here and it will affect all the layers underneath so guys i hope you have understood about using filters directly from the shelf and how it will affect your work. 
and you can go back you can change the values here you can scale it uh, scale it down uh, you can add randomness or so many things uh, other things you can do that so guys uh, if you like this video please click on the like button make sure you subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon watch my videos from the beginning till the end please do not download it just watch it online so i can have enough watch time hours which will encourage me to create more and more content a lot of new great tutorials will be coming up advanced tutorial and a lot of live sessions are coming up so if you will go to the playlist you will find a lot of live sessions i have a lot of live sessions now so you can uh, and there are some timings uh, in uh, here so if you will click on this i uh, information uh, card so you can see uh, my video where i explained about the timings so guys uh, thanks a lot for your support so we'll meet in the next class so take care till then uh, take care of yourself bye bye